Hello, Will Fly here. In this video, I want to show you some of the ways in which I play the guitar, principally fingerstyle picking. Um, I started playing 45 years ago and had the great pleasure of playing with people who were good guitarists and who taught me a lot. And I thought in this video, I'd like to try and pass on to you some of the things that I learned. The video is in two parts. The first half is concerned with the picking hand, okay, and the second half is concerned with playing chords. And it's a series of tips and hints about playing which I've picked up over the years. The, the first thing I want to talk about in this section is the picking hand. And the great thing about playing the guitar is that you play the guitar better with economy of movement, which means to say that the, the less activity you have going on, the, the quicker your hands can get from position to position, and the, flu the more fluid your playing becomes. So when I pick the guitar, I start off in, th in this position here. And you'll see it in close-up in a minute. Um, I put my thumb on the fifth string, I rest it on the fifth string of the guitar, my first finger goes onto the third string, my middle finger goes on the second string, and my third finger goes on the top string. So, it's very close to the strings, and I've got complete control. Um, two things I don't do. One is, I don't rest my little finger, my pinky, on the face of the guitar. Now, many um, guitarists do that. Merle Travis it is a case in point. I used to adore Merle Travis, and still do, and thought that he used all his fingers in playing. When I first saw him um, on a YouTube video, I was astounded to see that he, his hand is firmly anchored there, and he's playing with a finger and thumb. And I, I, I also remember seeing the Reverend Gary Davis in England many, many years ago, and he also played with a thumb pick and a finger pick, just thumb, finger, thumb, finger, playing the most amazing stuff. So you haven't got to follow my advice if you don't want to, but I personally prefer to have my hand free. I can take it down here to get a very treble tone. I can bring it up here to get a more mellow tone, and I can play it anywhere I want to with no restrictions. The other thing that um, budding finger pickers do when they're starting off is to play a bit like that because they're not used to picking the strings. It's all very strange to them. Lifting the fingers off. I keep my fingers as low onto the strings as I can. So, for example, if I play a uh, part of a small waltz now called Calipige, you can see how little movement my fingers are doing, my picking fingers are, are doing, to get the sound that I want. Fingers were hardly moving while I was playing that. Before we go any further, I ought to say that I don't use a thumb pick and I don't use finger picks. I tried them when I was a, a young guitarist. I found that I didn't like them because the feel of the pick got in between my fingers and the strings. I just didn't feel that I had control over the strings. So I haven't used them. Um, I use my nails and uh, long or short they have to do. Sometimes a nail breaks, which is a problem for me, but if that happens and I can do it, I use a, 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 an ordinary flat pick, which I hold between the thumb and first finger, and then use the, the available nails to do some hybrid picking. Luckily, my nails are fairly robust, and I don't have to do that too often. And the way that I keep my nails robust is to, is to file them very carefully so that they're a nice round shape, no sharp corners to catch, 
and I don't keep them too long because I find that if you keep them too long they tend to get broken more easily and that if they're too short you get a kind of a dull sound so the ideal is you know one or two millimeters of nail just protruding there to give a nice firm sound. Now I've said that I, I start by um, resting my hands with the thumb on the fifth and the three fingers on the top three strings. That doesn't mean to say that the thumb can't move over to the top strings and it doesn't mean to say that the, the fingers can't move down to the bass strings because depending on what you're playing you'll need to do that. So for example with a typical finger style, um, uh, Travis style pattern really using my thumb and first two fingers there but if I'm playing uh, some some uh, harmonies in fifths I'm using the thumb and first finger high up the string so the thumbs on the on the third string first fingers on the top string and you can get a typical I can also get some harmonies, but just using the, the first two fingers of, of the picking hand we're going. Or I could use the thumb and first finger. Of course, if I use the first two fingers, I've got my thumb free and I can play some bass notes. The other thing that some players do is to play a Brunsy style where they, they, they damp the heel of the strings with the, with the, base, of the, the base of the thumb there. Get a... Martin Carthy, the English folk guitarist, is very fond of that and he got that from Big Bill Brunsy. And in certain keys it sounds great. It's a typical Brunsy style. I don't play that very much because I, I don't like the restrictions that the heel of the thumb places when I'm playing on the top fingers. I haven't got the freedom of movement, so I still tend to play it a bit like... and allow the thumb to dampen the note itself. Okay, and in fact the fingers can be used in the same way. You hit the chord and you put your fingers straight back on the strings and dampen it. You have complete 
control. OK, well, that's the end of part one of uh, playing the guitar my way. Uh, part two follows on a separate video. See you later.